All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the apostles and elders of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel are you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, Seminole Indians, you know? And this sit-down is going to be about the dispersed of the Israelites. And uh, this is just to prove how Israel is in the midst of these other nations, so-called uh, Edom, well, not so-called Edomites, but so-called white people, which are the Edomites, the uh, the Japanese or the Ammonites, the Chinese or the Moabites, the Arabs or the uh, Ishmaelites, the Africans or the Hamites, and so on and so forth. You're going to have Israelites. Their seed is going to be in the midst of all these different nations. These other nations are not going to be saved, but the ones that are Israelites that's in the midst of these nations, they will be saved because they're Israelites, all right? So this is John seven thirty-five. It says, Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed? among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. So the dispersed among the Gentiles are Israelites. They're dispersed out of the region of uh Israel, like the you know, where Israel is. And they went to these other nations like Syria, Rome, and so on and so forth. And we're gonna prove that. We're gonna go to Isaiah 11 and 12 and it says Isaiah 11 and 12 and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth that explains itself and that ensign the ensign set up an ensign for the nations means us that's out there on the highways and byways and pushing these videos out. That's the ensign for the Israelite foreigners. They're going to see this, the elect, they're going to see this and wake up to this. And of course, as of right now, uh, we're in the four corners of the earth right now. We're over here in America. So we were so we were Gentiles once too. You know? Yeah, we didn't we didn't we wasn't born in America knowing that we was Israelites. We was in the mindset of a Gentile. We didn't know that we were Israelites until we heard the truth and we woke right back up. So we're not Gentiles no more. We know that we're Hebrew Israelites. It's simple. And it'd be the same way for Israelites and other nations too. You know? Alright? I'm going to go to Acts chapter 2. I'm going to read, uh, uh, I was going to read 5 through 9, but I'm going to read 4 through 9. And it says, and they, Salakia, Salakia, my phone, that charges my fuck up. Salakia. Hell no. Okay. This is X. I'm going to read X chapter 2, 4 through 9. And it says, and they were, and this is when the, uh, the, uh, the apostles, formerly known as disciples, they received the Holy Spirit. You know, they received power to speak in other languages, to speak to the Israelite foreigners. You know, that's, that's within these other regions. And that's why it says the gifts of tongues. They had the gift to speak the truth through uh, the language that these Israelite foreigners are speaking. 
And it says, And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the Spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, gave them the power to break down the scriptures into these uh uh, Israelite foreigners that are speaking not the Hebrew but Greek, you know, or, or Latin, you know, and various other languages. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout man out of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language so they heard the these is they heard the, the apostles speaking in their language man so they can understand the truth because why they were it's like foreigners speaking other languages thinking that they was part of these other nations but they wasn't they were Israelite foreigners and they were all amazed and marveled saying one to another behold are not all these men uh are not all these which speak Galileans? Are they not Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites, Galilee? You know, is as in the land of Israel. Because they were amazed because they were speaking these different languages. You know, I have to keep explaining that because Judah, uh, so-called Negroes, you know, the kingdom of Judah. You Negroes don't understand. Or well, even, even the rest of the tribes of Israel, they don't understand that. Israel was scattered, and you're going to have the Israelite foreigners looking like other nations. But their blood, their, their seed, is of the nation of Israel. You so-called best Latinos those Native Americans, man. And how, how here we, every man, uh, in our own language, wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and uh, Cap Cappadocia and Pontus in Asia, well, and Asia. Uh, I, I can't never say that word right. Uh, for um, Phrygia and Pamelia in Egypt and the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and uh, proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our language, in our tongues, and the wonderful works of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So that explains itself. They were speaking to the Israelite foreigners, not actual Gentiles, meaning Arabs and and the Romans, which are Edomites. They were speaking to Israelites. All right. It's simple, man. This is this is um John seven sixteen. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. You know, if any man would do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, or whether I speak of myself. So this doctrine that we speaking is not of ourselves, it's of the most high. Just like how the apostles were speaking these different languages, that was of the Most High, man. This is the Most High's doctrine, you know. And and that's that's who is going to be delivered. The Israelite foreigners as well, all right. Not just Judah, uh, you know, the actual Negro man. They're gonna like other nations, man. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. Israel is going to like these other nations as well. All right. And this is first Peter's one and one Peter an apostle of Yahweh Mashiach to the strangers scattered through throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia. Okay. And the precept goes to Acts 2, uh, chapter 2, 5 through 9, you know. So it's all saying the same thing, man. All the same thing. And this is Revelations 
7, and this is the last scripture I'm going to get, Revelation 7 and 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So, remember, all nations of all nations. It's not saying literally all nations of people, meaning Edomites, Arabs, uh, Asians, Chinese, and Japanese. It's not saying that. It's talking about the Israelite foreigners that's in the midst of these other nations speaking their languages, you know, carrying on their ways. They're following the ways of the heathen round about them. But they don't walk up to the fact that they're Israelites, so they're going to look like all other nations, you know. They're going to look like all nations, but they're not. They're Israelites, you know. It's not about the outside appearance. It's about what's inside. So that's what you're seeing right here, you know. Because what did it say in Isaiah 11 and 12? That he shall gather together the outcast of Israel. I'm going to get that one more time. I'm going to go straight to it, see. Outcast of Israel, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations. For the nations, what does it say in Revelation 7? What does it say? Let me get it because this is just a series. This ain't no time for bullshit because we're about to be uh, saved and delivered. What does it say? Of all nations, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast. Of Israel and gathered together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So that explains itself, man. If you don't get this, it's not for you. You're going to be destroyed. Okay? This is for the elect. It's all about the elect and Yahweh Shah. And that's what's going to be delivered. All right? You either going to get with it or you're going to be put to death, man. Get right. Stop trying to save these other nations, man. They fucking hate us, okay? They don't like us and they don't like our power. Why the fuck would the Lord go on the cross and die for these motherfuckers that don't like us? All right? These other nations, they come over here to Great Babylon, America. They get money without even working. When they come over here, the so-called white man give them money. All right? They give them money. They, they live in houses and shit. We have to stay in these rinky dink ass apartments and we work our ass out twice as hard as them. You know? We done built up America for free and all these other goddamn places that we slaved. You know? We didn't get paid shit. Alright? We're the form of all things. We the ones that, that make football, basketball, you know, uh, what it is today. You know? All that shit. Trap. All that, man. We the one, it was Jake, the Israelite man, that put a fucking automatic transmission in the car. You know? But anyway, I, I can keep going, but it's just the point. Look, the Israelite foreigners are Hebrew Israelites, man. They believe in this truth. You know, you, you see so-called Chinese, Japanese, uh, Arabs rapping with Jake. They are brethren, you know? It, look at the spirit, man. It ain't no, you can tell when a motherfucker is acting like he's so-called black, Latino, Native American. Use your fucking head. All right? So with that, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to say all praises to call Allah to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the brothers that that's up under them, that teach this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the rest of Israel that's been scattered around the world, that, that's coming back to the fold. We're about to get up out of here soon. Keep the faith. Don't take that microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Shalom.